Okay, so I'm all zoomed in. Hopefully the quality looks good. If it's a little blurred out or anything, I am so sorry, but let's hope for the best. Today, I'm going to be starting, like always, with my moisturizers and primers, and then I'm going to be doing brows, and the reason I like to do this first is because I like for these moisturizers and primers to soak into my skin and really do its job before I go into foundation. So you guys are going to have to bear with me because I do use quite a bit of products for this step. But first I am going to be going in with my bar. Bar. First I am going to be going in with my Mario Badescu, which I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of. This facial spray is literally to die for and I'm actually using the cucumber one. Usually I use my rose water, but I'm kind of out and I'm actually out of this one too. But this one, I just like it a little bit more than the other one. So just a few spritz and I let that sit for just literally five seconds and then I go into a second spray and this one is MAC Fix Plus. This one's actually like a different one than the actual original one. This is the Rose Prep and Prime Fix Plus and my friend gave this to me for my birthday, my best friend Rhea, so shout out to her. And just the same thing. I spray this all over. Next, I'm going into this oil control lotion from MAC. This has easily become one of my to die for products, um, run or dies, if you will. And the reason I like this so much is because, like I mentioned, I have really, like, I'm gonna say really oily skin. I have oily T zone. So, this I started using about two months ago, and honestly, Ever since the first time I used it, I saw a difference. It was just amazing and it truly does keep my T-zone more matte than if I were to not be using the product. So truly, I would recommend this if anybody has oily skin, an oily T-zone, whatever. Next, I really do like to keep my skin matte, so I go in with this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and it's super dirty, which is kind of embarrassing because I've only had it for a couple of weeks. Um, I got this at Walgreens, it's super affordable and I've heard so many good things about it. I was kind of scared because I've never truly been a fan of um, drugstore primers. Um, I love drugstore makeup, I have a lot of favorites from the drugstore but primers have never really been a hit for me, more like a miss. But with this one, if you have oily skin, again, you're going to love this, it really does work. And I've tried this without using my MAC um, oil control lotion. and. It works just as well, but I'm extra, so of course I'm using everything. So while I let those primers and moisturizers sink into my skin, I'm going to be doing my brows. And the product that I've been using lately for my brows is this Ardell Pomade. Obviously, a lot of people love the Anastasia Pomade, even the NYX Pomade. But this one is more on the affordable side, kind of like the NYX one, but I... But I like this one so much more, just because the... Oh, leave it open. Today is just not the day for me. This one is just so much creamier. The formula is just a lot better in my opinion. It's easier to work with and a lot easier to blend. So yeah, I don't have the nicest eyebrow routine or the nicest eyebrows in general. So I'm not gonna go in depth. I'm gonna just fast forward this part. But if you guys, for some reason, end up liking how I do this, just let me know in the comments and I'll do a brow tutorial. Okay, so now I am going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape to clean my brow bone and just fix my brows a little bit because I am definitely not the best at brows, never said I was. So I'm going to be cleaning up and I will be right back. So now that I'm done cleaning up my brows, I'm going to jump into my foundation and I'm going to be using my favorite. It's my favorite right now, but it actually changes a lot. So right now I am obsessed with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've always heard so many people that like struggle with oily skin talk about this on YouTube and like rave about it and I finally gave it a try this month. It's June now. I gave it a try in May. 
I got it and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I apply it on the back of my hand like this. I like to put a little bit first and then if I feel the need to take more, then I do. But I'm going to be using my beauty blender to blend this out. I've tried both a brush and my beauty blender, but I definitely love the way it applies so much better with the beauty blender. So I actually went ahead and applied a little bit more on the back of my hand and I am taking my finger and spreading it out because I feel like putting it directly on the beauty blender or like going like that wastes a lot more product than doing this. And this is normally what I do, but I don't know why I did that. I don't want to get messy. But sometimes when you get messy, it turns out better. But this foundation, guys, seriously, the coverage is incredible. I don't know if any of you saw, but I had a really like nasty pimple right there, just hiding, peeking, trying to be a part of my life. Um, before I went in with foundation, but this foundation, oh my gosh, you guys, the coverage is so good. It's basically gone. Of course, you can kind of still see like the bump because no matter how full coverage the foundation is, you can't get rid of the bump or, you know, the texture of it, but you can definitely hide it a little bit. And this foundation is just incredible. Now I'm going to be going back with my Tarte Shape Tape and highlight or conceal. I wouldn't necessarily call this highlighting because it's not necessarily that much lighter than my skin tone. Even though it kind of looks like it is. But I feel like when I blend it out, it's not that much brighter. So that is it for concealer. Now to set my under eye and my entire face, I am going to be going in with this CoverGirl um, loose powder. My friend recommended this to me. She said it was really good for oily skin. So what I like to do is I do like to bake my nose. This is the only part of my face that I bake, by the way. Um, I do that and then I grab a powder brush. Lately, I've been using this one from the Tarte collection, the Unicorn collection, I believe. Um, and I just take a little bit of this powder As I am finishing this up, I'm just going to go down to my nose where I was baking um, and remove that excess powder just by tapping. I like to tap rather than like swirl around my face because, I don't know, I just feel like it locks it in place rather than let it move around. Some of you may have noticed, but I did prime my eyelids as I was concealing my under eye. I do like to bring a little bit up. I don't do a lot, but I blended up in my eyelids a little bit and I took some of that powder and set that. So I, that's what I do to prime up my eyelids in case anybody was wondering. I don't typically do eyeshadow. I just barely started getting into it a couple of days ago. Um, but I've had so many eyeshadow palettes for like a while and I was like, hey, you know what? These palettes are not cheap. I need to start doing something. Transition shade, I am going to be going into the Modern Renaissance palette and I am going to go in with Burnt Orange, which is this second shade right here. I can never get both eyes to look anything like the same. Like I'll like one of them, little bit but the other one is like so bad I'm like what the hell I did literally the same thing as the other one but I just can't like it this eye that I don't like and I'm already not liking it so just gonna throw that out there before anybody points out that they're looking kind of unrelated just like my brows <laughs> honestly absolutely love doing my makeup um, in fact I'm more often wearing makeup than not wearing makeup, but I'm definitely not one to say that I'm like good at what I'm doing. I just do what works for me, and as long as I feel pretty and not like ridiculous, then it's fine by me. Okay, so I'm basically just using two shades for this whole thing, so I'm going to be going into this Kylie palette. 
Kylie Cosmetics, the burgundy palette, and I am going to be using this very pretty shimmery shade. And I begin, if I am reading, if I am reading this correct, it is Dubai. Um, I think that's what it is. Super pretty and super, super pigmented. I'm like tripping, but it might actually be LA. It's either LA or Dubai, but if you have this palette, you know what I'm talking about. So I am going to be taking this flat brush. This is by BH Cosmetics, number 102. And although it is pretty pigmented, I still like to spray some MAC Fix Plus on it, just a little bit, and go in with the shade. So like I said, I'm only using these two shades, so this is pretty much going to go everywhere that the other one didn't. So basically just my whole lid. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit more. That's as far as I can zoom in. Hopefully you guys can see this eye a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm just packing this on. Okay, so now that I'm done with both eyes and I am kind of happy with the results, just blending a little bit more. Go back into my Modern Renaissance palette, get that burnt orange shade, and apply some on my lower lash line. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be coating my top and bottom lashes with some mascara. So I'm done with mascara, but I'm going to wait till the end to apply my lashes just because I don't want to get messy with all the mascara still wet on my lashes. Um, but while that dries, I'm going to go and continue the rest of my face. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my Artist Couture Highlighter, and this one is in the shade Conceited. I'm going to be going in with a second highlighter, and I'm going to be going in with my Laura Geller. This is a holy grail of mine. I love this highlighter more than life. We're almost done. Now I'm just going to do my lashes. And which lashes do I want to wear today? I don't know. For lashes, I'm going to be going in with these Cocoa Lashes. And these are in the style Goddess. While that glue dries, I'm going to be going in with this Huda Beauty Matte Lip. And this is in the shade Trendsetter. This is one of my favorites. It's so nice. I love the Huda Beauty formula. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied my lashes, and the final step, finally, is going to be some setting spray. Um, today I'm going to be using this Mario Badescu facial spray. 